At the end of the previous video, we were looking at the importance of positive phrasing when you're trying to make connections between your interest in the subject and your experiences and skills and qualities that you've got today. So uh, we had a look at uh, this example and we said that here, um, cope and quite well are, are not particularly positive words. They kind of introduce doubt um, about your ability to, uh, to succeed with undergraduate studies. So, um, I task you with thinking about alternative ways of rephrasing that uh, to make it sound a bit more positive. And then we had a look at a whole list of possible um, alternatives or words that um, are, um, suggest a kind of progress um, and, uh, and resilience rather than just uh, managing. So uh, we'll have a look at a, another few examples here. And I want you in each of these just to look at the kind of parts of the paragraphs which um, emphasize that kind of positive mindset uh, and confirm that you really are well equipped to study that particular course. So here's the first one. On starting secondary school, I discovered my perpetual passion for science. This passion has been increased furthermore by the dissection of the broad science spectrum into three more concentrated and enjoyable areas. So uh, here, I mean, Personally, I, I think um, perpetual passion is a bit of a, a bit of a cliche. I would try and avoid using the word passion if possible, but you get the sentiment here that um, you're introducing that you know kind of positive spirit and and uh, energy into uh, into the equation. From the moment biology was unveiled to me, I was enthralled. The newfound knowledge and understanding of the tertiary structure of enzymes ventilation mechanisms of bony fish and other engaging life processes has given me a newfound perspective and curiosity of the biological occurrences that I had grown accustomed to. So again, in here, the kind of the areas that really stand out enthralled, again, really without saying passion, you're conveying that idea of passion. And again, here you are actually demonstrating your, your understanding, the tertiary structure of enzymes, uh, etc cetera, etc cetera. you're giving tangible examples of your understanding and your existing um, understanding of biology this new understanding compelled me to gain further insight by uh, indulging in my already keen interest in the written word wider reading of the very interesting subject has ranged from lucy's child by donald uh, johansson i found this to be engrossing when concerning the evolution of man the 1958 Stalker and Reynolds Fundamentals of Biology, providing further awareness of the purely elementary concepts of the subject as a whole. So here what stands out, um, well, it, it's the external references here, isn't it? You're demonstrating, A, that you've read it, um, and again, you're also including those, uh, the reflection um, on those areas there. I feel that a degree in biological sciences will be highly enjoyable and both intellectually stimulating and rewarding. This will also act as a strong basis for my future career as a secondary school science teacher with the subject specialism in biology after completing a secondary science PDC. So we kind of talked about that earlier in terms of that sort of flourish which gives, which gives an insight into the sort of future direction that you, you're envisaging. Um, so here we've got that with science teacher and we've also got that positive terminology in terms of um, intellectually stimulating and rewarding. As part of a volunteering program, I committed one free lesson a week, assisting year eight science lessons. I thoroughly enjoyed explaining some of the more basic scientific concepts to children, especially developing my communication skills. So um, again, you're, you know, you're, you're demonstrating your kind of characteristics there with volunteering program. Um, and here, again, developing my communication skills. Ideally, we'd like a little bit more information there. How are we developing? Um, your communication skills. So yes, you're doing it, um, you know, the more basic scientific concepts of children, but perhaps you could give maybe a, a small example of how precisely you did that. So um, final little task then, just to get you thinking a little bit more about this. Um, if you're still yet to kind of embark on your the process of completing your personal statement, um, just have, uh, have a go at this. Uh, on one side of a piece of paper, um, write down the subject which you are looking to apply to, and then on the uh, and there could be different there could be different subjects. We still haven't quite decided that. And on the other side, what I want you to do is to write a connecting sentence. So 
that's kind of what we looked at here. Something that links what you've done or read or seen um, to the subject and effectively shows why you want to study the subject and what makes you the right person for the course. Uh, and then once you've done that, look back and reflect on what we said about the positive terminology, about the ABC method, about evidence, uh, and see the extent to which that you, you've kind of um, you've ad adhered to that guidance. Uh, so yeah, you've had a chance then in these two videos to look at the structure um, in terms of the, the four um, section um, structure with the first punchy high level introduction paragraph, the second academic paragraph demonstrating how your existing academic experiences um, have given you the skills, qualities necessary to succeed as an undergraduate. Third paragraph, which looks at what else you've done beyond your academic studies so far that um, will prepare you well for undergraduate study. That could be your work experience, your MOOCs, um, further reading. Uh, and the fourth paragraph, which uh, is another way, another opportunity for you to demonstrate valuable skills and qualities through your extracurricular leadership activities. Should be about 20%, unless you're Oxbridge, which is about 10% of the entire thing. And then finish with it a kind of flourish at the end, either just linking it together at the end of that fourth paragraph or a very small separate one uh, with a kind of hint of what, what you might be looking to do with the skills, knowledge, and understanding that you've gained from your degree. So uh, hopefully that has been useful uh, for you to give you a bit more understanding of how to go about writing and crafting, and it is a process of crafting your personal statement.